Welcome to this video. Now let's take a quick look at what the concept of corporate governance means, the relevance of this concept, and what perspectives are used to define this concept. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Well, simply put, corporate governance refers to how companies are directed and controlled. Companies in this context commonly refer to private limited liability and public limited liability companies. The concept of corporate governance is important due to the common feature of these types of companies which is the separation of ownership and control. Let us explain what this means. Limited liability companies are owned by people who have invested a certain amount into the company in form of shares for expected returns known as dividends. Legally these owners, investors, or shareholders are also responsible for the losses incurred by the company to the extent of their investment, hence, the term limited liability. Although limited liability companies are owned by investors or shareholders, they are managed by a group of individuals called the board of directors. It is worth noting that these directors may also be shareholders. Most shareholders do not have any involvement in the day-to-day -day running of the business as with the board of directors. This is what is called, the separation of ownership and control. Where the company is owned by the shareholders, the management and control of the day-to-day -day activity of the company is carried out by the board of directors. Due to this separation of responsibilities, legally and corporate governance, the board of directors are usually required to act in the interest of shareholders. Hence the importance of this concept. There are different perspectives to understanding the concept of corporate governance. The most referenced one is the shareholders' supremacy perspective where the board of directors are expected to uphold their duty of care to the company shareholders. This perspective was developed to meet the challenges of the separation of ownership and control in corporate governance. The board is considered to be accountable to all shareholders. Such accountability includes the monitoring of managerial opportunism. This perspective of corporate governance was developed to curb the potential unscrupulousness of the management which brings us to the next perspective used to define corporate governance. There is also the managerial perspective. In this definition, the board of directors and other external actors of corporate governance are seen as managerial instruments. In other words, the managerial definition of corporate governance refers to the design and use of techniques or systems that favor the values of management in the directing and controlling of companies. From the stakeholders' perspective, consideration is given to the outcome of the interactions between multiple internal and external, or primary or secondary stakeholders within and outside a corporation. The rights, responsibilities, and interests of parties who have a stake in the firm are paramount. The final perspective used to define corporate governance is from the firm's perspective. This definition departs from other perspectives which focuses on how value is to be distributed amongst its actors. The firm definition of corporate governance focuses on how to direct and control a firm such that value is created throughout the whole value chain of the firm. In other words, the growth of the firm is what is of the essence and the board of directors are required to balance the interests of internal and external actors of corporate governance. So what have we learned so far? Let's have a quick summary. First, we defined corporate governance as the system by which companies are directed and controlled. Then we identified the perspectives from which corporate governance could be defined. These perspectives are the managerial, shareholders' supremacy, stakeholders' supremacy, and the firm perspective. To distinguish between these perspectives, it is imperative to highlight whose interest is considered to be more important amongst corporate governance actors. In the managerial perspective, the interest of the management is most important, and mechanisms of corporate governance are seen as managerial instruments while in the shareholders' perspective, the interests of the shareholders are held as dominant. The protection of shareholders' value is most relevant here. From the stakeholder perspective, the interests of all actors who have a stake in the company or are affected by managerial decisions are taken into consideration. Finally, the firm perspective. In this perspective, the creation of firm value throughout the firm's supply chain is considered the role of corporate governance. That will be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please look forward to more videos on corporate governance. See you in the next video.